For all your TCG needs, make sure to check out alphatradingcardgames.com. What's good everybody? Sabre will find a four for our third, well, I guess technically fourth match with Molly V-Star and Blaziken V-Max together. Uh, it's a bit of a shame I didn't get to use Blaziken uh, so much at all actually in the other matches. He's kind of there as a decoration at this point. But I mean, his purpose is for me to have an additional attacker if I, I do fight something that's weak against fire or just something that Molly V-Star can't really deal with. Uh, like metal Pokemon that it's going to be weak to. But anyway, I'm going to open up with a Mew here. And uh, I have a few things in hand, but no supporter card. I guess we can use Fog Crystal to get a supporter card. Uh, but it depends on what I'll draw next. Uh, my opponent had a bad opening start with uh, the Dene GX. And has a bunch of other stuff there. Uh, we're going to use the Fog Crystal to get our Molly, since I top deck the Cynthia. Uh, but it's Wobbuffet V. Wow, never thought I'd see that played, uh, besides me using it. And uh, Zacian V, I guess the draw cards, when being passive. And Shadow Rider Calyrex. So, I, I grab the Blaziken, um, but it was a mistake, probably, because... Cynthia, and it's not like we're going to keep our hand to evolve it into next turn. But anyway, maybe I will use the Blaziken VMAX today, finally. Um, who knows? I mean, yeah, just seeing the Zacian thinking that, okay, yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna use it to attack that, but Zacian is probably here just as a support Pokemon. This isn't going to be a metal deck. So I, I was hasty getting the Blaziken, but anyway. Uh caught me off guard, threw me off. Okay, uh, but still might use it. It doesn't matter. I, I managed to get the mollies. I managed to get the down with the crossman. At the end of the day, that's all you really need. Uh, so he's going to get a psychic energy. has his own molly V. Wow, this guy has just everything in. Um, if I was a guessing man, this is probably going to be some sort of uh, Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX deck with a bunch of... Uh, Psychic rule box Pokemon in. Uh, sometimes you see this sort of stuff. I guess maybe people that don't have everything. But he did grab Mimikyu Gengar Tactim GX. So he's got the most important components. So that guy, uh, he can be dangerous. We do run quite a few items in this deck. Or just a lot of trainer cards, period. Um, I'm going to do my best to not let him get the big damage. But, I mean, it's not always easy with Gengar. On the bright side, it's low HP and giving away three prizes. It's going to be good for us. Uh, it's actually something that I can just attack with uh, even Blaziken twice. And I can get the two-hit KO. I don't even need to do the extreme extra damage with Molly. So he's going to Avery, which pisses me off. And I guess there goes Blaziken. We're not using you. Uh, evolved into it as well that's a shame but yeah if he's going to use Avery the other stuff is just more important for me to keep so so much for that and it's going to go for a switch he's already evolved into Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX and hitting me for quite the damage there but that's only because of the weakness uh, and uh, I don't have a supporter to draw cards damn okay there's only one thing we can do now, then, and that's, I guess, I'll just Guzma your ass, Guzma the Gengar, actually, and hit that 400 damage. I think eventually he would have used that anyway, and I'm going to tempt him to use the GX attack now so I can draw cards. Allow, allow me, let him help me draw cards. But do 100 damage, it's in the 2 KO range, Gengar. And uh, if he decides to use it, I'm going to draw cards and then he's going to eventually die too. So he goes for the manual attachment and attaching more energies, attached energies on the Wobba Fit too. Those psychic energies are starting to accumulate. Old Cemetery, not really going to affect us using psychic Pokemon. 
But yeah, this guy's kicking my ass. He has a big ass hand. I guess now he's going to help me out. So we get uh, Blaziken again. I mean, I can't really attack. I, I can't really play anything but attack, what I meant to say. So make another attack with Molly. Discard a card. I don't think it matters from that big ass hand. But we're not looking too good. This guy is controlling the game and kicking my ass. I guess uh, we didn't have a very effective start. But I can still turn things around. Okay, so he's running random healing cards too, like Potion and the uh, Pokemon Center Lady. But Gengar has such low HP that no matter how much you heal, unless you make him close to fully healed, then Molly can still get the kill. And this is what I have to do here. Right. So here is the evolution in sense. Gonna go for this. And get rid of a few of your things. Get rid of your tool and the stadium with field blower. I mean, I could have just used my counter stadium, but I'm just trying to get all of the trainer cards out of my hand for Gengar. So let's put the double turbo energy on Blaziken too and play the our stadium. No more healing for you. And I'm gonna go for Cynthia here. Uh, Drapion is useless in this match. Okay so I have the option to just finish off the, the Gengar but I'm just gonna target the biggest threat which is the Shadow Rider VMAX, soften it up, use the laser on it too. Hopefully that amounts to something. I got the mime down, so there's not going to be any scoop up net stuff either. Okay. Right. So 2 EKO range. And the poison. Um, if he doesn't have a way to switch, he's going to have to burn energies to switch. But damn, I can't believe I allowed this guy to get so many energy. So Underworld Door is going to keep him coming. Shit. Humongous Hand. Another Rocky Helmet. Sometimes even random ass, you know, decks can beat your ass. This guy, not a straightforward Shadow Rider deck. Just all sorts of stuff. But you just give, give this sort of Pokemon a little bit of edge, a little bit of time. And it's trouble. He's going to use Hypnotaxic Laser as well. Damn. Now the question is, can we survive? I don't think so with all these energies. So, damn, 280. Close. Okay, so I'm, I'm almost dead. Like, I haven't taken any prizes, and he's at one prize now. But this is where N is going to kick in. Okay. Get the Blaziken VMAX, and what do you know? After all, I'm going to use this card. End him to 1, and i got to make my counterattack here. So, let's see. I have a bunch of stuff that's dead. Molly V star and 2 Molly Vs. Um, I'm going to go for it. Uh, go for the stretcher for the recovery effect in the deck. And he goes well played, maybe for the end play. I should be standard for you, my friend. But fuck Crystal. Gonna get my Molly V. And it looks like I made the right call. I guess one of them must be prized. Good. And now I'm pretty sure with the poison I do enough damage. Just enough to get the KO with the poison at the end. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use Blaze again for just 110 damage. Hurt myself as well a little bit. But Blaze again has the highest HP out of all of my Pokemon here. So giving me the least risk. Uh, we're going to get a bunch of trainers too. So i got to be wary of Gengar. But now all i got to do is just Guzma the Gengar. And I'm still going to claim victory. Just uh, making, our account, making our attacks count on the three prize Pokemon. So he's going to be using the Wobbuffet, I guess. And I do see the 
Molly V Star, perfect. Invasion and uh, go retreat to Molly, of course. Uh, but um, wait a minute, what am I doing here? Uh, oh fuck! Um, no, that that was a mistake. It was too hasty. We're not we're not trying to attack the Boba Fett here. I'm trying to gain get game. Got the hurt Gengar. So okay, Guzma's in the discard pile. So uh, lucky enough, I've got the second Necrozma for invasion. Otherwise, this would have been a severe fuck up. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing showing you guys all of my bad plays. So if I didn't have the second invasion done with the Necrozma, I would have fucked up to win this turn. But anyway, put Don't Mix the Necrozma in the active position, switch again with the Guzma, and then Molly V-Star can get the final KO on the Gengar. So I hope you guys enjoyed this match. It was kind of a close one. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. What I